leftovers. And Terry Geyser with UT Culinary Institute has three different recipes for serving them up. The first recipe is a Mexican twist on a shepherd's pie. And so you're going to use the leftovers that you will use in this recipe are turkey, corn, mashed potatoes, and you can even throw in some peas if you want to. So you just get your mashed potatoes on top of your ingredients, on top of your pie, and then you top it with some cheese. And then you pop it in the oven and bake it at 350 until you have this really lovely, nice, totally new dish that everyone's just going to love. All right, and the second recipe is a Thanksgiving dinner burrito. And so this recipe uses corn, your dressing, cornbread dressing, uh, and your turkey, your gravy, and cranberry sauce. So all you do is put a little sour cream on the top of your tortilla shell, fold it up like so, and brush a little olive oil on that, pop it in the oven, and when it's nice and toasty on the outside, a little golden brown, take it out, add your gravy to the top, and top it with your cranberry sauce, and I garnished with a little cilantro. And our last recipe is a, a caprese stuffed spaghetti squash. And what you do is you take your spaghetti squash and you roast it in the oven until it's tender, and then you cut it in half, and then you want to loosen the spaghetti squash up around the edges. Of course, you take out the seeds. And then you will salt and pepper it lightly. And then you add Parmesan cheese and some Italian seasoning. And then layer in your leftover turkey. And for that matter, you could use anything in this recipe. But since this is a leftover Thanksgiving dinner, and then top it very well around the edges and in the center, all the way around. And then set your cherry tomatoes on top like so and then bake it at 350 until the tomatoes have roasted and the dish is heated through and then take it out of the oven and at that point you will drizzle some reduced balsamic and uh, garnish with a little basil. And there you have it. All right, we appreciate it.